The night was a periwinkle shirt in purple. I just arrived home about to enter the front gate of my house when I witnessed black jeeps parking behind me. Several officers in plain clothes and bulletproof vests exited the jeeps. An officer who was cautiously looking at me announced there had been a shooting. A witness said it was a gray sedan. At the time I drove a Mercury Grand Marquis. Called it the U-boat because it was enormous. It was big enough to sink into the minds of police officers who pulled me over repeatedly. It was big enough to sink into the minds of these undercover officers searching for a suspect. As soon as I saw undercover officers gripping pistol handles, I raised my hands to God, reaching for the Lord's protection. One undercover officer slowly crept up behind me and asked for my license. I told him it's in my back pocket because I refused to reach. This is well before Mike Brown. Police barely searched my car. They merely glanced. They didn't find a gun. I know because I was watching them. It was as if I had eyes that could zoom in like a camera. My eyes zoomed in on one officer who opened my trunk, lifted some paper, then closed it. I wondered if I'd go to prison, falsely accused with a murder charge like my brother. My arms started getting tired, and it started to waver, shaking like a Mount San Andreas earthquake. Then one of the officers got a call. Apparently the vehicle was a white Jeep, so they left.